Tonight, Miguel Encalada is at the center of a gruesome double murder after he is suspected of killing his girlfriend and brother. This morning, the Ladyville man reportedly murdered 50-year-old Desiree Gonzalez and 25-year-old George Rochester and took a photo lying on their bodies which he uploaded to social media. He then called over a relative who stumbled upon the crime scene and ran to the Ladyville police station to inform officers of what he had seen. Senior Superintendent of Police Raymond de Reyes says cops then arrived at the Scissors Tail Street home and detained in Calada, who was found inside the home. Sometime after 12 p.m., information was received of a um, shooting incident at this address where police made checks and discovered the lifeless body of two individuals inside the house. And as a result, the investigators were called in along with the scenes of crime to process the scene. What have and investigators been able to establish so far? At this present moment, we know that um, we have the body of a male person with what appears to be head injuries as well as that of the female. Um, at the investigation is somewhat pretty young at this moment. We have one person in custody mm -hmm. who we intend to interview as well as other relatives to try to establish what actually transpired of or if they could assist with the investigation. Police are yet to establish several key pieces of information that would tell the whole story. At this time, police are unable to say how the victims were killed and at what time. Our newsroom spoke to a relative who stated that Rochester was picked up from his home early this morning and was not heard from since then. The horrific ordeal has sent shockwaves throughout the community. Ladyville Chairman Bernardo Bennett grew up in Calado and Gonzalez and says he never heard of the couple having any issues. I know the, um, the family very well, um, Miguel and Desiree, and, and the young man George, I've heard the three names involved. No? Um, they own this, they own a business, they run a business right behind me, Big Mama's restaurant. And I used to come, I come here a lot visiting them and they were productive, they seem very, very, very happy together running their business and living life, so um, this is definitely a shock to this community. Gonzalez was a mother of seven and Rochester was a father of one. According to relatives, Rochester may have been gunned down outside and later dragged into the home through a window, while Gonzalez was bludgeoned to death. But what may have sparked such a brutal and cold-blooded murder? According to SSP Reyes, investigators are working to establish one. During the interviews, we intend to discover what actually is the motive, if we could establish that at the end of the day. And Calada and Gonzalez are both well-known figures in the village, and one year ago, the pair opened a restaurant and barber shop at their home. Bennett described the boat as hard-working individual, whom he never believed would be involved in such a tragedy. Miss Desiree and Miguel, all of us grew up, grew up in Ladyville. All of us grew up going to primary school and then to high school, and so um, it's unbelievable. She's a uh, outgoing person, productive person, she um, all into business and try to prosper in life and, and you know like I said there are two persons who were really in their business wanting to make life and making life. People always come to the establishment to have fun you know and um, they seem jovial so something like this happened you know still at shop. The Encalada, Miss Desiree, Miss the Roland family, all of us grew up in this village so all of us know each other very good from childhood growing up now. In Kalala previously lived the stone throws away with his wife, who he imparted ways with some three years ago. Relatives of the victims believe that in Kalala may have staged the scene of the crime and painted a false narrative. However, Reyes says that investigators are hoping to interview him and get to the bottom of this horrific ordeal. At this present moment, um, he is in custody, but we will go through the proper procedures to obtain an interview from him since we have him as a possible suspect for this incident. Vigilvers, Love News.